This is Gagan Girotra, IIT Roorkee class of 2000 and I am Calcutta class of 2005. So in the last video, you would have noticed that we studied two different kinds of problems. One is the, a group of individuals with same productivity. The second is we have individuals with different productivity. So in this video, we are going to take a take on the first kind of problem. All right. So let's look at this problem. There are 10 ladies. Of course, all of them, the assumption is that all of them have equal capabilities or equal productivities. 10 ladies are able to finish one third of a job in six days. Now on the seventh day, what is happening is that the existing 10 ladies are joined by another five ladies, right? So the question now being asked is on which day from the day the work has started, will the entire work get finished? Yeah, so you would remember that in our uh, in, in the previous video, we had discussed that if there are uh, a number of individuals and they are all taking, uh, uh, they, they are all doing different amounts of work, right? So we had their, pro and, and because the productivity was constant, K was the productivity constant, K was equal W upon N times T, we would use W1 upon N1 T1 equals W2 upon N2 T2, right? Where W1, N1, and T1 were work done, number of people, and time in situation one. And W2, N2, T2 were work done, number of people, and time taken in situation two, yeah? So in this case, our situation one, we have one third of the job, right? So one third of the job. So we have W upon three finished by how many ladies? Six ladies, right? And we have, they had, uh, I'm sorry, this is 10 ladies and they had six days to finish the job, right? So let me just give title to this table. We have work done, we have time, and we have number of individuals, right? So in situation one, one third of the work has been done in six days by 10 women, yeah? Now in situation two, how much work do we have left with? We are left with W minus W by three. This is the balance work that must be done, right? So this is two W by three work that must be done by this time, how many ladies on the job? We have five more ladies. We have five more ladies joining the existing 10. So we got 15 ladies on the job. Now, what we are left with to compute is the number of days that situation two will get finished. So clearly, we're going to use W1 upon N1 T1 equals W2 upon N2 T2, yeah? So in the first situation, the work done is one third of the work. The time taken is six days times the number of individuals on the job is 10. This is equal to two third of the work that must be done in X days by 15 women, right? So all we now need to do is solve for X. So we have X equals two W upon three times 15 this is the right hand side and I bring over the denominators 3, 6 and 10 to the numerator there and I bring the W of the numerator to the denominator here, right? So cancelling, I got 15 times 2 is 30, so I'm left with a 2 here, then 3 times 2 is a 6, so I'm left with 8 days right so my x is eight days that means the situation two two third of the work will get done by 15 ladies in eight days so the answer to the question on which day from the start of the work will the total work get finished my answer is six days for situation one and this I've computed at eight and eight days for situation two. So that means by the end of 14 days, 
I would I would have finished my work. Thanks for watching the video. You can uh, give your feedback in the comments section below. Please click the like button if you thought the video was helpful. Uh, for lesson updates, you may subscribe to my YouTube channel People Plus, or you may read my blogs at peopleprep.com, or you can directly connect to us uh, through our Facebook page at the Rate People Plus, or you can email to me at gagan at the Rate People Plus dot com. Thank you.